In this video, we're taking a look at some new Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. I turned up the vibe a little bit for you guys. So you guys can get in the game and see and feel what's going on. We got some Rust gameplay as well as we got some high rise gameplay with the ACR and the UMP45. I'm also going to showcase the settings as well as the attachments, the kill streaks, the perks. Y'all know the drill. So if you guys enjoy, drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, and those post notifications, and let's jump right into it. So we got some gameplay on high rise. This is gonna be some ACR gameplay. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about high rise. Personally, for me, I'm liking what I'm seeing. They really did just go ahead and bump up the colors, the graphics, and just give us an OG map that we've always wanted. Now we're gonna be able to take a look at the times they kill, the recoil control, the visual recoil, and just overall how modern warfare 3 plays okay so right there is going to be a prime example of how this is not going to be a modern warfare 2.5 situation the time to kill is significantly slower than the past two call of duties it's not going to be a vanguard reskin i know a lot of people like to go ahead and say this looks like a vanguard reskin just modern that couldn't be more from the truth. This is not going to be a Modern Warfare 2.5. Yes, a lot of the assets are similar, but I'm talking about as far as how the game is played. I can't say this is going to be a 2.5 or a Vanguard reskin. You guys know me. I don't get flown out to these events. I don't get early access. I'm experiencing this at the same time you guys are. I'm just voicing my honest opinions. It does not look and it does not play, in my personal opinion, how the previous two Call of Duties played out. I mean, for this COD, you have time to get in and out of gunfights. You have time to recover if you put yourself in a bad situation because you're not going to get insta-killed. And overall, I think that's going to be a massive W for Modern Warfare 3 because we also have movement in this call of duty as well it's something that we've lacked in modern warfare 2 now obviously if modern warfare 2 had movement then i could probably say this would be a 2.5 situation where they just went ahead and adjusted the time to kill but you guys can see right there if you're not shooting somebody chest up center mass up it is not going to be an instant death and the time to kill is not going to be instantaneous now right here almost turned on him almost turned on him but with those leg shots you're gonna have to be getting those chests up be getting the faster ttk which honestly reminds me a lot of black ops 4 which in my person plan played out amazing as far as a multiplayer experience went it rewarded players who were accurate and there was a skill gap and i do believe that there is going to be a skill gap here in modern warfare 3 that's something that was lacking in vanguard because vanguard None of the weapons had recoil. All the weapons killed in two bullets. So there really was nothing more than, you know, pointing and shooting with a weapon that has 50, 60 bullets that can kill in two shots. There's no skill at all. At least for this game, you can get out of a bad situation and it's not going to be an instant death if you don't see the person that is starting to shoot at you first. So that's going to be a massive dub. But the visual recoil looks like it's been toned down a lot. That's obviously going to be, you know playing into part with the faster ttk they can have crazy recoil and um or i should say a slower ttk excuse me they can't have crazy recoil and a slower ttk the, you know, people would be going ballistic people would be complaining like crazy this acr is putting in work man this is definitely gonna be one of the guns i'm gonna be using off rip in beta and be leveling up immediately when the game does release and making some class hitters for it this is definitely gonna be i think kind of like the the m4 equivalent here where you know it's starter ar or you know they could change things when the game does release but it could be like that starter ar that's just you know dominant that you want to keep you know a class with at all times but for the most part everything's looking good man it's just a revamped high rise that just looks better and with the times and that's going to be i think for all of the og mw2 maps which we should have gotten in modern warfare 2 got the sae a lot of the streaks i will say this a lot of the streaks look to be exact copies from what we saw in modern warfare 2 i do wish they could have went ahead and at least changed up the streaks but 
I know they were porting a lot of assets from Modern Warfare 2 into this game, so I guess they just went ahead and ported the streaks. And they could go ahead and change the name of the streaks as well. We got a juggernaut here with a shotgun. Pretty interesting. I don't think I'm ever going to run this, though, to be honest with you. I mean, a juggernaut with a shotgun does not seem viable whatsoever. Slow. I mean, you already know that radar is going to be on you, too. So you're going to have the whole you're gonna have the whole team throwing nades, flashbangs, you know, Molotov cocktails, incendiaries. Yeah. The, the juggernaut's capped. They got to go ahead and put the minigun back because that, that thing's capped for sure. That thing is capped for sure. There you go. When you start shooting people at the chest or, you know, head, the TTK is faster. Calling in the SAE. This is going to be pretty interesting. I'm telling you that right now. It's going to be pretty interesting. Hitting over here. You better get that nade over there. Pull that drum up. You guys can tell right now when you're not shooting at the chest or the the upper torso, you are not gonna be getting a fast TK. He dropped down. He definitely saw him. You can see here snaking. Snaking is definitely gonna be a play. Somebody's trying to get to that glitch spot. Which is very obvious. They made very obvious that that is a glitch spot in this game. I should say the glitch spot, the jump spot. I'm not really going to call it a glitch spot. Let's be honest. They made it completely obvious. <laughs> There's a ladder for crying out loud. There we go. It seems like the spawning is a lot more concise on this game too and easier to predict and read. Which is also good. People are not going to be spawning in random places. You guys can tell right there that second player to, to take out, you can definitely tell the TTK difference. Because that was Mono for two or definitely Vanguard. Uh, he would have been killed right there. Again, a prime example of the TTK difference this COD. Let me down in the comment section. Do you guys like the fast TTKs or the slower TTKs? Honestly, because this game does have movement, I think the slower TTK is going to play uh, quite well and is going to be a good thing. Because if this game, you know, had movement with the fast TTK, I think it literally might be too fast for some people. Which obviously, you know, skill gap, but you don't want, you know, a, a core audience just completely walking away from multiplayer because they quite literally can't keep up. <laughs> That'd be crazy, though. People right here, the aim assist doesn't seem to be as strong as it is in modern warfare 2. you completely just, just botched that mosquito drone but it doesn't seem to be as strong which again is also a good thing in my personal opinion because you know nobody really wants to be able to, to snap on from somebody across the map every single time without really having to think about anything obviously there are going to be controller settings which we are going to go ahead and break down in this video as well. At least show what they're showcasing to make that a little bit easier. But for the most part, I'm liking what I'm seeing. You can see you're trying to get to this uh, jump spot here. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And I think this is going to be, again, not a 2.5, but what Model for 2 should have been. All right, so we got some Rust gameplay. Again, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about Rust. Do you guys like this map? For me personally, a lot of people, <laughs> they, they just camp on this map. Oh my God, they just camp on Rust. Now, there is a very different player base compared to 2009. So I'm really curious to see how Rust is going to play out. Uh, we have some Striker 45 gameplay. Man, you can really tell the time to kill. Oh, he got demolished. You can really tell the TTK. Oh, well, the headshot. <laughs> you can tell the, t the headshot multiplier difference. But as far as ARs and SMGs goes, you can definitely go ahead and tell the TTK difference in this COD when using a submachine gun and an AR at range. Oh, we got drop shotting. Yeah, movement is going to be a huge, huge 
huge emphasis in this cod. If you're not using the movement, if you're not breaking camera angles, I honestly don't know what you're going to be doing this year because that's something that they are making very, very apparent that is, you know, something that should be utilized. Um, again, like all the guardians on this map, I, I don't know, man. Rust, I'm kind of happy they didn't bring it back at Mono for two. I don't think it would have played out that well in all reality just because of all the camping. But for the most part, you know, things are looking pretty legit. Minus the camping. I'm just talking about how the game plays. It's looking pretty legit. That center mass headshot multiplier making a massive difference there. Oh, he almost jumped. He almost jumped them right there. He almost jumped them. But for the most part, I don't know, man. I don't know about Rust. <laughs> I want to see how Favela plays. I want to see how Skidro plays. Ooh. Now, those are the maps I'm trying to play. This is going to be a good map to play on hardcore to get your weapons leveled up. That's what I will say. This is going to be a good map to play hardcore to get whatever you need leveled up, leveled up fast. And you can go ahead and play the other maps. Because this is going to be a camp off. I'm, I'm telling you that just right now. Once those guardians get dropped down, once those sentry guns get dropped down, once that advanced UAV gets dropped, hey, it's a wrap. I'm telling you that. You are getting new. It's ain't nothing you can do about it. That triple cap right now is happening. You ain't gonna recover from this. It's a wrap. You can tell right here. Look at the center mat, like the center mass versus the leg shots. It's it's very 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 apparent. But for the most part, you know the SMG is the striker. Ain't looking that bad. Striker ain't looking that bad. That ACR was hitting too. It for real was hitting. Yeah, this is a wrap. You better get blown out. I would have been pulled an AR out, to be honest with you. See, when you get the center mass, yeah, when you get the center mass, it's mad different how things play out. I mean, look at this. It's it's completely, completely different. It's night and day. Like you hit center mass, it's like. Mono for two Vanguard team. Oh, he just got snaked. There's Mono for two Vanguard TT take TTK type vibes. Oh, someone's on a 15. Somebody finna get nuked. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There ain't no time. A little wall bang. For the most part, this is a blowout. So let's go ahead and, and, and save, you know, save this. <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the settings now. All right, so before I do showcase the settings, I did want to let you guys know about the Create a Class here. Now, it's pretty much the same loadout layout that we had in Modern Warfare 2, where you can equip an assault rifle, SMG, whatnot, a secondary, tactical, lethal, Field equipment, the perks now are going to be labeled as gloves, boots, and gear, and we do have an infantry vest. So pretty interesting. Uh, the class of weapons, sniper rifles, marksman rifles, light machine guns, shotguns, SMGs, battle rifles, as well as assault rifles. So pretty cool. Now, they do showcase some of the snipers. We have the longbow and the KV inhibitor. Uh, pretty interesting. They kept the KV family, like we have the KV broadside and MW2. So I'm going to assume that a lot of the attachments are going to be shared and we are going to see some overlap within the Krata class, obviously, because, you know, the weapons in Modern Warfare 2 are going to be ported to Modern Warfare 3. Now, they are going to go ahead and take a look at some of the attachments. Uh, again, the Krata class, when you build your actual class setup, is going to be pretty much a carbon copy uh from modern warfare 2 where we have barrels we have optics we have you know muzzles and whatnot it's pretty much going to be the same thing we have the pros and cons here pretty much going to be very similar if not the same that we saw in modern for two again another kind of visual it's literally the same thing stocks rear grips magazines ammo under barrel muzzle barrel laser optic again they had to do this because the weapons in modern for two are going to be ported 
into Modern Warfare 3. So they had to go ahead and have the same streamlined attachment system. So we didn't have a Vanguard Warzone incident where you had five attachment guns in Warzone and also 10 attachment guns. They wanted to prevent, you know, things from being overpowered. But for the most part, things are looking pretty cool. You guys can see here the cast off Rama stock that's going to be shared from the cast off that we saw in Modern Warfare 2. So there is some attachment overlap. Again, you can take that for what you will, but it's because weapons are being shared across games now, which for the most part, I think is a good thing, no matter what you know you want to look at it. And we have the true tech grip, you know, the brace LS, you know, attachments we already have seen and saw that do the same thing. We're gonna see magazines you know same thing under barrels we have you know so actually some different under barrels here uh but for the most part you know things are going to be streamlined and they're not going to be too alien so if you know how to tune you know how to equip attachments in mono for two uh you can do that here in mono for three as well no problem which i think again is going to be a, a massive w now as far as the camos goes it looks like the camouflage is on these weapons um they look pretty good they look a little bit better than what they were in modern warfare 2 but uh for the most part it's looking quite solid i'm not going to lie i'm really not gonna lie now i do believe they're gonna take a look at some of the secondaries in a second here yes so the secondaries available right now are gonna be the wsp stinger which looks like a mini uzi a pocket uzi the renetti which is a burst pistol and we have the core 45 so those are gonna be the three handguns you guys can see here we also have a launcher available which is obviously going to be some type of rpg or whatnot but you know nothing too crazy uh we have the tacticals uh we have flash grenades we have the battle rage which again is going to give us extra health like we saw in mono for two the uh emd grenade applies attracting device to enemies hit so you can go ahead and literally see people through walls as they're running around if this hits them we have the smoke grenade and we also have that shatter mine we also saw that you know the juggernaut gameplay as well so that's pretty interesting uh lethals frags the breacher drone simtex and the thermal barrett grenade again some of these attachments or i should say streaks you know were left over from model for two uh trophy system the comm scrambler which is obviously gonna be a, a you know a jammer uav jammer the med box deploy box medical supplies for you and your teammates oh hell yeah munitions box and the acs which is an automated computer spike slowly captures points and temporarily hacks enemy nearby devices so this is ridiculous it's going to cap flags on hard point or it's really domination or a hard point point and it's going to hack enemy devices that's pretty good i ain't gonna lie that might be that might be valid gloves uh quick grip gloves increase weapon swap speed uh scavenger gloves you supply ammo through and throwing knives badass let's go ahead next rewind that again i didn't get to read all that i know you guys probably didn't as well so again, increase weapon swap speed, resupply ammo and throwing knives from dead players. I'm rocking that. And we're gonna have the commando gloves, reload while sprinting, so useless. Now, as far as the boots goes, we have lightweight boots, which are gonna be increasing your movement speed and swim speed. And we're also gonna be reducing noise while swimming. Pretty cool. We have climbing boots. We're gonna be increasing climbing and mantling speed and also reducing fall damage. Um, we are going to be getting stalker boots too, which obviously this guy is going way too quick, but for the tactical pads, we're going to have increased slide distance and allow for full ADS while sliding, which is pretty legit. Increased stance and transition speed and crouch movement speed, which is really, really good. It's definitely going to be a movement player's dream. And we also have on covert sneakers, which is going to be eliminating the footstep sound now if you guys were wondering what the stalker boots does that does increase your ads strafe speed so that's going to be amazing probably what i'm going to be running in all reality now as far as gear goes we do have eod padding which is going to give us more damage resilience against kill streak explosives or i should say non kill streaks explosives as well as fire we also have the tactical mask which obviously is going to be going ahead and reducing the effects of the gas as well as the stuns and going to be reducing the effects of the jammer which is also a really nice touch we have mission control comm link 
a reduced kill streak cost by one and also reduce the score streak cost by 125. So pretty much hardline in this game is going to be what Mr. Control is. We have bone conduction um, headphones, which is pretty unique here. Uh, reduces combat noise, allowing improved identification of enemy footsteps and gunfire. This is actually amazing. Pretty much going to be super crunch, super crunch in gear which is really nice here this is definitely something that i might go ahead and rock we have the lr detector which is really interesting warns of hostile laser and our uh, radiation sources so this is definitely gonna be something you can run in warzone and we have the tv camo which is while moving blocks identify or blocks it extra from uavs enemy radar sources and heartbeat sensors so mobile ghost also a very nice gear set so these gears are pretty cool i'm really liking the way they went ahead and, and changed all this up i think it's a massive w man i really do think it's a massive w something that i'm really gonna get behind and i think a lot of you guys should get behind as well can we have some more of the smgs the rival 9 the arm 9 and we also have the striker which are gonna go ahead and showcase some of the attachments here again a lot of these things are gonna be pretty much ported from modern warfare 2 just to go ahead and keep everything streamlined there's gonna be weapon families weapon trees we can see some of the same attachments literally some of the same attachments we saw in modern warfare 2 in modern warfare 3 which again i don't think is a bad thing because it's going to be for balanced reasonings obviously with the ported weapons and within warzone as well so overall all this is looking nice we do have some of the combat vests as well we have infantry engineer the gunner vest as well as the demolition vest so this actually is nasty we also have starting you i don't know if you guys saw that you do have increased starting ammunition with that gunner vest so we have bandolier oh my god this is looking good folks this is looking good and then finally we do have a look at the settings here you guys can see some of the settings available we have automatic tactical sprint walk behavior airborne mantle and whatnot aim down sight behavior we are going to take a look at the controller settings here which look pretty interesting button layout you can adjust your sensitivities you can adjust your dead zone you can adjust your vibration overall very 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 streamlined pretty much the same exact format and settings we had within model for two which again is going to be a massive w so definitely go ahead and make the adjustments or actually I'm going to go ahead and provide you guys with the best settings when I get my hands on Mono for 2. So if you guys enjoy, make sure you drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications. I'm liking what I'm seeing. This game is looking amazing so far. Again, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. It's only a couple hours before we can all go ahead and experience it.